these are fantastic. These are garbage pail kids. Garbage pail kids? I don't know what these are at all. I can't say, I can't say I know what, what these are. To capitalize on the baseball card trend, which was a phenomenon in the 80s, they came out with these cards that were stickers that were gross, and kids loved them because they were lewd and gross and offensive. Spiky Mikey, Barf and Bart. It's ripping its skin off. And you don't know this, but I'm a huge fan. As a matter of fact, in my home, I have a, a, a plaque of an uncut sheet of series one. He would. Got famous garbage bail kids like Vile Kyle or Adam Bomb. In the 80s, being gross was fun. Every day can be a Care Bear day. Welcome to our treehouse, Love Bear. This is a Care Bear. Now what is this, Care Bear? <laughs> oh, Care Bear. I'd never had a Care Bear, but I remember the commercials. Gotta meet the kids at the treehouse. Wake up, bedtime bear. It's Kenner's Care Bears. In trying to find a universe that uh, young people could care about, what better to say we want you to care about this than naming the bear a Care Bear. So it was a clan of bears, whimsical bears, that created a universe of happiness and rainbows. For those of you that didn't think I'd know what this was, had <laughs> jokes on you. Care Bear. Will you be the one to raise the incredibly accurate zapper and play games like Duck Hunt? Okay, this is awesome. What? In oh, Nintendo! Look at this, this is fun. Now it's just all thumbs. This is the zapper from the Nintendo 8-bit entertainment system. You know, it looks like a, a, a hair dryer of sorts. Well, you're wrong, because neither those aren't, it's not what this is. This is a Nintendo zapper. Apparently. <laughs> when you bought the original Nintendo 8-bit entertainment system, if you bought the deluxe package, it would come with two controllers. It would come with a zapper, and it would also come with Rob, a uh, robot that you could use to play games. Holy sh! Oh, Rob! You can't ever knock him out in Super Smash. Is this one of those, like, Oh no, it's not. It looks like E.T. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Who is this? At first I thought it was one of those like little vision finder things, no? Okay. I don't know what's cooler because I spent a lot of time playing Duck Hunt and I just found out that you can control the dog with the controller. Thank you, Seth Rogen. So you could plug Rob in and he would do things. And what I mean by things is he would pick up a gyroscope that was spinning and then place it on like a T and the gyroscope would spin and you felt your robot friend was alive. And I thought technology was advanced now. <laughs> Yay, technology. Uh, I'm, I'm at a loss, Rob, but pleasure meeting you. You're more than meets the eye. Yes, you are. Power Glove. Everything else is child's play. What is this? This looked like something we had for Black Panther. You know, something Shuri came up with. Oh my God, the Power Glove. I don't know what this is. What is this? Power Glove? What? Capitalizing on uh, Nintendo's awareness for people wanting to cheat in games, they came out with a controller that was big called the NES Advantage, which had a, which had a turbo button, because in the original controllers with the AB button, you really had to slam the buttons. Now, the Power Glove was something special because you could put it on your hand and you actually became one with the game. You felt like you were doing the stuff. They even made a movie around the Power Glove. Was it The Wizard? Fred Savage was in? And this was like, the ultimate prize! So holding this, I feel pretty special. If you don't know what this is, that's what I gotta say to you.